Greetings on our channel! In this tutorial, we will create a post on several websites simultaneously. Let's go over the settings of our new formless actions and points add-on. This add-on helps execute the needed after-submit actions using a single button on the frontend without the actual form. It can submit forms both with the one side and between different web spots. Before we start, check your subscription and notification bell, as it's a good option to stay updated with new videos. For this tutorial, uh, we will need two websites. In my case, it's a car dealer website, a site for selling cars. The second site will be RentGo a site with a booking system for cars. With the help of Aaron, I want to publish a post immediately on both sites that would speed up the process of filling content. From plugins, make sure you have Jet Engine, a Jet Form Builder plus Formless Actions Endpoints add-on installed. Also, make sure you have post types with metafills created on both sites. Let's begin! The first step is to create a form on the site where the request will be sent. In my case, it's a car dealer. We need to create a regular form that will publish the post. Note that for this case, you can use only text, number, checkbox, radio, select, date, date time, time, text area and range fields. In my form, I will use a text field for the post title. One more text field for specifying the year of the car, since in the post type settings this is also a text field. The next field will be radio, to select the number of doors. Pay attention that on car dealer this field is a field with options from the glossary. And on Rank Go, it's a field with options that are added manually. It will not interfere in the creation of the post if you make sure to have the same value of options on both sides and in the form. Then everything will work well. The next field is for color selection. On Car Dealer, it's a taxonomy. On Rank Go, it's a meta field. As you can see, the category slug and options are the same. So in the form, I will add the same value while the label may be different. Also, through the form, I want to set the engine type and transmission. This will be all the fields. Let's create the action. I will only need the insert update post action. Select post type and post status. Next, link the fields from the form to the fields from the post type. Save the form and now we need to create an endpoint. Before that, let's install the add-on. Go to JetForm Builder, Add-ons, activate the license, and then hit the download button under the add-on card item. After the add-on is active, Inform Builder appears in new section, Endpoint. Open it and create a new item. Here we need to select the related form. After that you may see the notice, read it carefully. And if you are going to use the form on another site, you can disable these settings. Next, you need to select the type of action. There are three options. WordPress Ajax, 
work through a standard WordPress AJAX request. REST API endpoint is triggered by a request to the REST API. URL query string works when switching to a URL with certain parameters. Since we need to create a post on multiple sites, this can be done only using REST API. This option activates the root namespace and root text fields, where we can type the first and second parts of the REST API URL. In my case, it's item and new post. These names can be anything you want. And one more important thing to know is that the root namespace and root text fields allow the usage only of lowercase Latin letters, numbers, and hyphen sign. Left the is restricted toggle disabled to allow all users to perform their pre-specified action. In contrast, we enabled the log request toggle to allow login requests to collect all items to submit the form via this route. On the right side, you can see tabs, where all the form fields are stored, as well as the switching to the sample request tab, you can check the data for the REST API settings. Great, we are done with the car dealer website. The next step is to create a form on the second site, Rent Go. This step is the same as previous. We need to create a new form to publish the post. It should have all the same fields with the same options as the first form. So you can import the first form and edit it, or you may add the options from the scratch. You can also add fields to this form that don't need to be transferred to the first website. Let's do this with a media field. When all the fields are added, let's start with the actions. Add insert update post and fill all fields following the fields in the post type. Save the form and open the Jet Engine plugin settings. Here, you need to enable the REST API listing module. This is necessary to make a new action appear in the form REST API request. This action has only two fields. In the first one, you need to add REST API URL. To find it, go back to the endpoint settings that we created earlier. Open the sample request and find the line URL. Copy this link and paste it into the action. In the custom body field, you need to specify the body of the request. This should be the fields from the form. So go back to the endpoint settings and copy the field data. Copy the content including brackets. This is a list of fields from the car dealer website. Now we need to link the field from the main form to the field in the auxiliary form. To do this, we need to change the value of now. Click on the range and select the appropriate field. Delete the value of now, insert double quotes inside of which insert the field name in the percentages. This should be done with each field. Replace the null with the corresponding field name. Now save the action and the form. And the last step is to add the form on the front end. Create a new page, add the jet form widget, and let's go check it. Fill out the form and hit the submit button. As 
you can see, the form is submitted successfully. Let's check if the posts are created. First, check the post on Rango. Open the post type list and here we can see our post. All data from the form was saved correctly. You can see year, color, transmission, even an image. Now, the post on the car dealer website. The same, all the content is saved correctly. Even the color as it's a post taxonomy. The only thing is that you can't see the image, because this field was only in the second form and it cannot be pasted through the REST API. That's it! Now you know how to transfer data through REST API and create a post on multiple sites. Don't forget to hit the like button, write your comments under this video, and see you later! Cheers!